Now I'm starting on some leg pieces and they're gonna stick out all the way to here. This thing is not gonna fit in this building. Well, it'll fit in here. I'm gonna have to put it right in the middle though. And I looked at my little robot and I looked at my little drawings with measurements on them and stuff. I think these are gonna be kind of easy to make. And I may even have enough pipes. Well, we'll see. Okay, I better test something. Just watch that little clip I took. It's not nearly as scary watching it on video as it is standing beside this thing that sounds like and I don't know if things are gonna go flying off it. Wow, anyway. to jam in the ball bearings. Get in there. Oh, it's hot. Gotta do it while it's still hot and expanded. Sweet. Wow, cool joint. I just got a special package today. Ooh, variable speed DC control. Hopefully this will control the speed of my motor. Oh, I've got some serious stuff to figure out in here. Ooh, circuit boardy stuff. Um, but I'm not just gonna pull it out because they're styrofoam peanuts. They're gonna go everywhere. But this totally got sent to me by someone who is super cool and saw my stuff on YouTube and was like, hey man, how can I help? And I was like, I need to figure out how to make my motor go at different speeds. And he's all like, oh yeah, man, here, let me mail you something. I was like, cool. Well, I'm totally paraphrasing, but. Ooh, circuit boardy stuff. And here's a little knob that works. You know, when I started putting all this video stuff on YouTube, this is totally what I was hoping would happen. Would be like, you know, people would help out. I think I'm gonna have to make like giant robot crew t-shirts or something and start giving them out. Cause there's like all kinds of people who've helped on this giant robot, I have to say. And they don't have anything except they should have a giant robot t-shirt. Well, I guess they have the knowledge that they helped make a giant robot, but still, you know, it'd be cool to have a giant robot t-shirt. I'm gonna have to go get on that. And you know what else? I want a giant robot t-shirt. I think I really need to do this, all right. All right, I gotta go work on the giant robot. I guess I better check if this is actually strong enough to lift the thing up. Yep. Oh, I think I forgot to show that I made it all strong too. See, now it's like a much stronger piece because it has like bracing. Uh -huh. A few hours later. Hey, look, there's that robot leg thing again. Wait a minute, that's a different one. And there's two other ones out here. Cool. Dinner time. <laughs> There's this one thing I keep avoiding doing. I think I have to take care of it now. See, these springs here don't attach to anything and I keep like jerry-rigging them down to this um, with a chain, but really they have to bolt onto the frame somehow, so I have to weld a flange or something on there and make it so they can hook on. Well, I better take care of it. Well, that's better. <laughs> Like seriously, all I need is a coat hanger to wire this down to here. Of course, I don't have any coats in my, in my banana building. I'll have to go get some. Well, now I've got another piece of leg stuff strung up in place and sitting on a post that's hopefully the right height. Now I just need to weld it in place and hope I measured everything correctly. Oh, he's clearly getting too big for his little area here. I'm gonna have to move some stuff out of the way and put them in the middle of this building. Can you believe this little dude? I just kicked him out of the workshop and he's like coming back in. 
Hey, buddy, you're gonna get squished over here. Oh, okay, I better. Well, that's more like it. Lots of space all the way around. Sweet. Oh, check it out. I've also got a fancy table that I cleared off. Yeehaw. All right, I'm testing again. Looks pretty good.